Check, check. All right, uh, Kevin, Kevin, Kevin DDR to the stage, please. This, this is Northwest STG live and direct. Hey guys, this is Maris, a Maris MPO, aka Paul Rock here on the mic. Uh, thank you for joining us. We're at Northwest STG right now. Uh, watching Kevin play some Cardinal Sins. Joining us in the game for quite a while. How to play it. So how this game works is that if you haven't already seen it before, it's got nine different phases, and each phase has a different gimmick where you want to try and accomplish the goal. Alright, I got seven phases and then like two extra phases. Anyway, so we're just starting out right now, this is the first phase, and in this one, the goal is to kill all the enemies before they go off the screen. You get like an extra perfect bonus. And Kevin right there is going to heal at that point, so the more damage on, and also racks on higher levels. And you did a good job, so you got a 100% destruction rate, and so I guess an S-ring for that stage. Now we're on Sloth. Uh, the goal in this one is, if you kill enemies, they'll drop 1-ups. Or extends, and you want to grab those. The gimmick, though, is you can actually shoot the 1-ups and kill them. That, of course. So you want to collect as many 1-ups as you can. Uh, the, goal, uh, the trick to doing that, in addition to not shooting them, is also you want to kill each enemy base as fast as you can. That way you'll get more enemies, and there's more chance to kill 1-ups. And as you get more 1-ups, they also drop a lot faster. So, you gotta watch out for that. So Kevin's doing a pretty good job right now, I think. Uh, this is my first time in this game, actually, so I don't really know. But... <laughs> and now we got some uh, Ray Force lasers here. Fortunately, he's taking a little bit of extra time killing that boss. He's going to lose a little bit of uh, enemy patterns later on. Uh, I still think he'll be able to get an A3. Yeah, he was saying earlier to get an S rank B to have like, 13 extends. Ooh! And without dying. Alright, now we're all in greed. And, yeah, this is the achievements before uh, Xbox Live came out. Uh, achievements before, they were, they were never really cool. But... <laughs> so I'm not really sure what most of these are, but you can cancel like different bullet types to get achievements. Uh, yeah, you gotta let certain patterns go through. Uh, there's some where you have to suicide, apparently. I don't really know. I I'm gonna assume Kevin's doing a good job, though. That, that was on purpose. See, he's got a cheat. Totally. He also get an achievement there for killing that middle ship where it shoots any bullets. Uh, he failed and he died. I don't think that one was on purpose. Oh, really? Apparently, like, no other achievements when this enemy go off the screen. You may not have enough time to even do that, though. 67 scan rate. Right. Now, for this one, uh, the goal is basically to uh, kill everything using the shield. By doing that, like I was saying earlier, you're actually multiplier faster. And you get extra points in this phase for having times 100 multipliers. Like, it's just the normal bonus speed for having a times 100. By the way, please let us know if uh, how the audio quality is. This is our first time doing this. So kind of testing stuff out here. But hopefully if you enjoy this, we'll get some more of this STG streaming going on in the future. We'll be doing some other games. Uh, we got a lot of different players here in the Northwest team. Uh, we all play a different types of games. I personally really like games and games. I think I'll play some of Kevin here has been working really hard on bringing in Silvergun lately, so maybe we can show that off later. Also, you know, Tetris. Uh, Eric's pretty good at it. He feels pretty good at Ikara. Not, not as good as me, to be honest, but I had to say something for him. <laughs> yeah, he plays a lot of Kitsui, too. Alex is really good at uh, Mars Matrix. And Giggling. Alright, now, the goal for this stage... Uh, yes, don't die. He died earlier. And 
And like a lot of the patterns on this stage in particular are pretty tricky. Uh, especially to be able to, you know, dodge stuff and kill stuff at the same time, because you want to score in the stages as well. Aw oh, man, the score from this stage might be uh, lackluster. Not, not as good as it could be. He's actually missed a couple patterns in this game just because it took him a while to kill seven phases. <laughs> seven patterns passed. Alright, and his last one is cave mode, basically. Uh, you shoot those gold uh, balls, and then uh, all the bolts on the screen cancel to give you points. Uh, basically, it seems like any other cave game. Galuda, Yushi. So, you know, the goal is just like let all the bolts go on the screen before you cancel stuff. And then you also get points for you know, shooting enemies like normal. Now, let's see if you can do this part. So far, none of us have really figured out a good way to do that while killing the boss quickly. Uh, ah. yes. Okay, there we go. And the trick with this part is uh, since some of these missiles really shoot bullets, basically you just want to kill them all before canceling them. Dang, so you just collect everything. Unfortunately, you did that cancel a little bit early, so you didn't get a whole lot from that. And this is pretty solid. Um, See if we can kill these guys quickly and get one last pattern out. Uh, I think quite a time. Yeah. Alright, still decent, right? And then this very last one is just survive. Uh, that mirror, that's the cardinal sin. That's the embodiment of human sin. Basically, every time you shoot that, it drops the rank. The problem is, the more times you shoot it, the more times you kill it, more health it has, so it gets hard to kill it later on. So basically, you kind of want to, I guess, space out how many times you kill it, or like when you kill it, make it easier. Yeah, if you're a super pro, you just like want to shoot it, like all the time, though, because you get more points for shooting it. But mainly the goal in this one is just to not die. Some of these patterns are pretty impressive. You can see it really pushing the hardware of the uh, wondrous one to the limit of all the sprite clickers. Alright, and so at the very end, it tallies up all your ranks from the uh, seven stages. And if you get at least a, I guess, a D score, a B. Okay, B++, so you should be getting the extra stages. Now we're on Pluto. Uh, the goal for this part is to just kill stuff. Uh, the faster you kill things, though, uh, you get more enemies. So it's basically just like a normal smup stage. Yes, and so each of these enemies represent, uh, I guess, parts from earlier stages. So depending on the rings you got in the earlier stages will affect how many points each of the items they drop are. So the better you do earlier on uh, affects how many points you can get in this stage. And you can see this really unique uh, color scheme for this stage. It also makes it impossible to see your shield, partly due to Phil's uh, colors or brightness setting. <laughs> Phil apologizes. Also, you can shoot the one-ups in this stage. You don't have to worry about that. So now he's going to go into the last boss with four extra lives in stock. Do a pocket rips. And not only special for this part, you just want to not die. Uh, also, the faster you kill this boss, the more points you get for each phase. Oh, hey, uh, so we have some crazy guy trying to sneak in through the window, break in. <laughs> yeah, that pattern's really stupid. I, I don't get it. Oh, can he do this shit? Oh, no. Okay, he's got like, two extra lives. This part should be almost done. Oh, yeah. Oh, that sucks. So he triggered the screwdrivers at the same time as that. Oh, that was a good dodge. Yeah, so these things are... I guess they're called baseball bats. I call them screwdrivers. Uh, 
good dodge good dodge here we got some toho pattern There's some crazy guy in a white beard just showed up and he's <laughs> thinks it's like 1980 again Oh, uh, so that was some good dodging, but unfortunately he's not actually shooting the boss. Oh, okay, there we go. Barely takes it out on his last life. This would be a pretty solid score. Oh, nice. He's on top now, right? Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, with that bonus, he should be on the top. You can't hear pretty much anyone but you on the mic. And now you have this super depressing ending where darkness falls across the land and then fire envelops everything and everybody hates each other. Hey, no pausing, no pausing. Yeah, I'm going to take the round. <laughs> uh, top score. <laughs> and so for those of you guys joining us, thank you for checking our stream out. This is Norpus STG. This is our first test stream. It's, yeah. Also, if you have any recommendations or if the sound quality is off or anything like that, just be sure to let us know through the chat. And now we have our local hero, Eric, showing up, aka EPS21. Alright, the goal for this part is you want to kill everything before it falls off the screen. Also, you can press C for a wide shot. It's basically like Eskatos, and then B is a shield. Yeah. Also, you don't want to die though. Also, if you guys have any other game recommendations you'd like to see us play, uh, feel free to put some in the chat. Uh, Phil's got pretty much all of the 360 shmups. He's also got a few different PCBs available to put up, although I don't think we'll be able to stream any of that at the moment. Have you know, a convenient way to set up jammer boards to. It, it, that's coming, but in the future. A lot of stuff on this game there, so we got a D rank. Okay, so the goal for this one, Eric, is when you kill stuff, they'll drop extends, but then you don't want to shoot the extends or they blow up. Yeah, and you want to try and get as many extends as possible. And then also, like the more stuff you kill, uh, or, like the faster you kill enemy waves, that determines how fast the next enemy wave comes out, so you get more extends and stuff. It's kind of easier to use the Y shot for this part for most of it. Oh no, you can stop shooting, you know, to get the extends. No, you get lives back every time the new stage starts. Yeah, and like, even if you die, like, even if you lose all your lives, uh, you just go straight to the next stage. No! Oh, you got one! Got 10 seconds left. Alright, you're starting to get the hang of it now. Kinda. Yeah, you can still back up in the bolts when you have the shield. And so this part is achievements, so you want to like cancel stuff and then like shoot stuff and then get achievements. I don't really know what they all are, I have to ask Kevin. Yeah. Now your hitbox is pretty small in this. You can still run into stuff though. Oh yeah, those lasers are stupid. Yeah, so to recharge the shield, you just, uh, yeah, just recharges over time, we're not using it. Yeah. And then for the next stage, you just want to use nothing but a shield. Uh, well, it will, but not as fast, I guess. I don't really know. 
pretty much you should be able to kill everything with Distance Shield, though, if you do it right. It gets kind of harder later on. But, like, the more times 100 you get, it's, like, increases your bonus at the end of the stage. You can also recharge the shield by dying, that works too. Uh, hopefully we're planning to have a side dial Joe stream as soon as we get that game in. <laughs> I'll probably be getting the game like pretty much right after it comes out. Thanks to the power of that one. I'm, no, I, yeah, I have a uh, special internet shipping. I get it shipped through uh, BitTorrent. So. <laughs> Yeah, true. Like, I bought an Ami Ami, but then, like, I want to try and download it so I can practice as fast as I can. Oh, yeah, the park with this stage is just a uh, shoot stuff. No, don't die. Yeah, like, actually, uh, most of the cave releases, uh, as far as Jake Tag stuff goes, I've been able to find it on Day Before it comes out officially. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this guy? Oh yeah, so for this part, uh, here's the cave mode. <laughs> you want to even bolt on the screen, and then you shoot those gold balls, and it caps all the bullets. Yeah, like that. This part has the rain for safety, so watch that. Uh. Ooh. Some sweet shit. Yeah, you can't cancel those lasers. <laughs> I think for this part, you just want to, like, shoot a bunch of missiles first and then just cancel it. Because the missiles don't, like, shoot any bullets. But they still die. And then for this last part, you just want to survive. Uh, then you can shoot that thing, uh, that uh, square looking thing, and then every time you kill it, it drops the rank. But the more times you kill it, the harder it gets to kill later on. Yeah. You also get points when you kill it, but like, I'm not sure. Like the main goal is just not to die. Like I guess if you're really good, you can just kind of constantly be shooting it. Other patterns you get for this part is random too. Or like random order. Okay. I guess it is the same order. I just haven't been paying attention. We got some intense streaming going on right there. I don't know, I find it a very relaxing show. And then at the end, it just tallies up your score from all the other stages. Yeah, and if you get at least a B, then you get uh, two extra stages at the end. But I don't think, yeah. I got a B there. <laughs> I, I got a B total. Well, let's see. Oh, okay. Well, okay, apparently nobody actually knows what the condition is. So this part just shoots stuff. No, we all got this. We just... I guess so. <laughs> That's just how the stage works. You can shoot those one ones by the way. Hmm. There's the shoot, you just can't see it because of the monitor. 
Or this thing part is just weird. It may just be not fail stage. I don't know. Yeah, it's really hard to see those lasers. <laughs> oh yeah, and those are worth points. The amount of points are wherever based on how well you did it in earlier stages. And now you get to fight the final boss. Apocalypse. This part is tap dodge. Yeah. I'm having so fun. Game over. Yeah, so for the, those of you guys who don't know, uh, the 100 yen movie was recently uh, released to the public. It's a documentary about arcade culture in Japan. That's actually the main reason we're all here today. We just came over to watch the film. And it's a pretty cool documentary. Uh, actually, honestly, I wasn't wowed by it, but it's a pretty cool foray in the Japanese arcade culture, just arcade culture in general. So if you get a chance, you should check it out. Uh, you can also buy the DVD online, and the DVD is just like 25 bucks. Not a bad price. And they're going to be releasing a Blu-ray version later in the future. Uh, I don't know exactly when. Press SED stream sponsored by uh, Spicy Chili Doritos. And Bill's cats.
show also dedicated to Bobby Conover. Got the coolest arcade right here in Phil's place. And not in full tilt. <laughs> Hi, Bobby. Miss you, baby. You really come over sometime, bro. No, for real, though, if anybody's uh, out here watching in Seattle, uh, we post these meets pretty regularly. So, I mean, if anybody wants to come over and check it out, we have a Facebook group called Northwest STG. Uh, it's actually a private group, but uh, if you just ask to join, we'll let you in pretty free. Wow, that was a good round goal, by the way. Nice. Alex is doing pretty good on this stage. Don't worry about that. Alright, nice cancel. That was a pretty good last boss. That could be a good bonus.
And the world is over. GG. Yeah, what's a good score in this game? Okay, so apparently the world record in this game is 120 million, so... Kevin DDR here, uh, doing a little commentary for the Northwest STG meetup. Um, right now, uh, Marius is playing, and he is playing the first stage of trial mode of Cardinal Sins. Uh, in this stage, the only goal is basically 100% destruction rate, which means that you have to kill everything on the screen, uh, can't let anything go off the screen either above or below. It's kind of tricky. Uh, I mean, oh, uh, as you see, he just missed a couple enemies. I mean, it's not unreasonably hard, but you can kind of freeform it. There's no one pattern you have to do. Uh, anything less than a 100% rate will not give you an S. 100% will give you an S. There's a few extra points you can scrape out of this by using your shield to uh, increase your, well, your score multiplier as well, like Paul just did right there. So we ended up with 7 million, not bad. In this stage, Mercury, um, the main goal is to collect all the extends that appear when you shoot down a certain amount of enemies. However, you could also shoot down the extend, and like, pop it twice, um, and that obviously affects your final stage score, which is just basically the amount of extends that you got. The other main challenge is, of course, you have to shoot down everything fast, um, so you can get through more enemy patterns, in turn getting more stages, or more stages of enemies to get more extents. the number is, I think, 30 lives by the end of the stage to get an S rank. It might be 14. Alright, so Paul comes out of that with a B. And at this stage, uh, Greed is basically just all about achievements. It's achievements before achievements. Uh, achievements did not exist when this game came out, but you wouldn't know from the way this stage works. Various things like shielding certain bullets or Letting a uh, enemy's bullet pattern pass, letting it complete essentially, give you achievements. Uh, letting I think one or two of the enemies go off screen even gives you an achievement. There's a couple of ones. So <laughs> yes, uh, and apparently parting. Taking down this middle enemy, yes, taking down this middle enemy before it starts shooting is also an achievement. I don't know them all, but at some point I did. Okay. And now on to Pride. Uh, this stage, the main gimmick is it's how many 100, 100 times multipliers you score during the stage. You can increase your multiplier by shooting at enemies, but it increases a lot faster if you shield against them instead, um, which is what Paul is doing right now. I'm not sure what the cutoff is for an S rank. Oh, that hurts because when you die, I think your... Yeah, your multiplier is half. Oh, 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 that's painful. <laughs> Paul is apparently blowing it. Oh, he just needs to not die right now. Uh, 
death with the totally ruined spear run. Even though you do get to keep playing if you run out of lives, you just move on to the next stage immediately. But you get an F for the previous stage at no points. And I think it automatically disqualifies you from the extra stages after the end game, but I'm not sure about that. Oh! Oh, brutal. Norm failure. <laughs> and Venus, uh, the maiden goal is to just survive through the patterns and also take them out really quickly because that lets you play through more patterns. I think in this stage, it actually doesn't matter how many patterns you survive, it's just how many patterns appear. But of course, dying makes a pattern take longer to go away because the enemies don't just disappear. You actually have to kill all of them. Or else they'll do what they're doing right now and fly up the bottom of the screen at you, which totally sucks. with the B, which is not bad. This section, uh, you'll notice those little glowy thingies. Uh, glowy thingies is the best term I can use to describe them. <laughs> now, uh, the glowing balls, um, you use those to cancel bullets into metals which you collect. Uh, you can also get them for destroying enemies, but you get a lot less. They don't automatically suction into your ship. So here you'll see he waits for a couple lasers, yep, and then Glowy thingy, the glowy balls. Uh, dodging these little Rayforce lasers is uh, hard, but. Yeah, that was pretty impressive. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, take it out. Nice, nice. Alright. I think this is the last pattern. I'm pretty sure there is another pattern. Okay, nice. 12 items. So that is a B rank for that stage. This last stage, the goal is just to not die. Your grade is solely how many times you die. One death gives you an A, two deaths gives you a B. Uh, I think it's just, yeah, each death lowers you by a letter grade, so no deaths gives you an S. S's are pretty crucial to getting a good score in this game. I'll explain why later, but it's actually relevant. I mean, Apart from getting the uh, 10 million per stage bonus, there's also another bonus which I'll explain when we get to it. So shooting the little mirror, as it's called, in this stage lowers the rank of the pattern. And basically, if you stay in a pattern too long without destroying the mirror, it just becomes stupidly hard. So the goal is to shoot that a few times, lower your rank, and of course not die. Yes, but pace yourself because shooting it too many times makes it harder to shoot, I think. So. Oh. Alright. So I think Paul will have made it. Maybe not. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, minus, minus, minus. Damn. And you're done. Okay, cool. All right. Well, our gracious host, PDP80, uh, or oh, I don't even know how do you how do you pronounce your vowelless name? It has an A over here. Yeah. Okay. Wonka. Wonka. Philly Wonka. That's what we'll call you now. Has anyone ever called you that? That'd be. No, no one's ever made that connection before. <laughs> Phil is up playing right now, and he is... I said Phil. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes. 
difficult to play him right now. He is uh, doing an okay job, but we will just let two, one enemy go by in the first phase, one enemy in the second. I think that'll lower his grade maybe to an A. Oh, that, that'll, that'll hurt. That's, that's going to be a B at least, I think. Ah, uh, no, it's, yeah, it's, it's all over. Might as well just back that restart button. Not really, but... We take our losses graciously in the Redbox STP community. Okay, okay, so... Phil comes out with a B. Particularly brutal too, because the better you do it, the more extent you go through, the faster the extents fall later, kind of like a high rank Dragon game. Okay. Nice. Phil has not lost with extend or life yet. Wow, well done. Oh, get one more, you can do it. That's pretty dialed. That's nice. Oh, take him out, take him out. Oh, oh! Oh, brutal. Brutal. Oh, no S for you. Nice job, though. Alright, it's achievement time. I'm gonna watch the video of the uh, world record run. Well, <laughs> no. <laughs> Actually, I think someone else posted a perfect scan rate guide. I think like first baby or something. Yeah, not just the requirements translated, but I think they actually posted a video of yeah how to do it. Yeah. Okay. Still doing a good job of the 100x speed. Oh, that that pattern is really tricky. You have to like lead it. You have to lead it a little. Yeah, you have to anticipate. Oh, brutal. So in this stage, the goal, of course, is to just get through as many packs as possible. Uh, again, for anyone watching who just tuned in or doesn't really know what they're watching, click on. I, I I feel like if you're watching this channel, you probably know what you're watching. But, um, this is the Northwest STG stream. So a little sort of impromptu test stream meetup we're having. Got. A few members of the Northwest STG scene here today. Uh, Tata, PDP80, <laughs> EPS21, Maris, Kevin DDR, that's me. Pretty much everyone but RNG Master or Ami.
Don't use your real name on Skype, man. <laughs> Nice, that was a good cancel. I think it's possible to cancel more, but I just don't want to try it. Oh! It's like a big one worth a lot, I think. Exactly the laser pattern from a uh... yeah. Yeah, I made it to uh, I think oh, I think I had a stage six run the other day. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Stage four boss is retarded. Yeah, there is like a cheap shot way to take it out without disassembling it. You still get to play. Oh no, that wasn't last stage. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so I guess you won't keep going. <laughs> nice. Ah, so yes, your grade, like C++ itself, is terrible. Okay. Alright, Eric's starting his run now, and by the way, this is now Tata commenting. As you might know by now, if you've been seeing the stream, first stage, your goal is to get 100% destruction rate. And it looks like Eric's doing a pretty good job of that. I don't think he's missed a single enemy yet. Of course, now that I've... Of course, now that I've said that... Yeah, I think that was a direct result of me saying that. Yes, they do. I mean, using the shield in this case is pretty much penny... Is pretty much penny wise pound foolish. Unless you can actually survive. Yeah, but... Compared to getting a better grade, this is nothing. I mean, the difference between an S and an A is 3 million points. And meanwhile, he's not even getting a quarter million from this stage, so... Shield is pretty much penny wise pound foolish. Anyway, on the Mercury, the goal of this stage is to get the extends and try not to shoot them too much or else they'll go up. You need 13 of them for an S and we've got 4. No! Okay, so Eric is on the second stage and he has 5 million points, but realistically he does not have a score. 
He will get have a score eventually though. He's doing really good on this stage. And of course as soon as I say that. So I think that was 13 saved ships, which means 11 extends. And now it's achievement time before achievements were cool. This game is really hipster in this way. Yeah, it's raising each type of bullet. Letting enemies go off the screen. Letting patterns pass. So I think realistically, at this point, he just wants to emphasize survival, so he can get his extra stage. And since none of us know what the achievements are anyway. survives it. Alright, the goal of the moon is the shield stage. Basically get as many times 100 pieces as you can. You really lack money now. He makes it! So he's up to probably about 120, 130 of them. I'm not sure how many you need for an S. But he's probably on track for at least an A by this point. Yeah, he's doing really well on this. also don't die because that makes the patterns longer. Probably on track for an A or an S at this point. This stream brought to you by Twintress. Boom! Final stage, Sheena Na. As the intro text said, don't die. You can shoot that thing to lower the rank, but you want to pace yourself. Like, you want to survive a bit of the pattern, just don't aim for that thing the whole time. But also, kill it when the pattern gets tough. 
So if you find a pattern that works for you, more power to you. Not halfway through it, more like two thirds by now. And one deck so far. Pretty easy now that I've said that the whole screen is filled with bullets. Looks like he has got it for an A. And, and he had it. B plus for the whole run. A pretty solid run. No deaths, which we think it. Well, no E, Fs. Which we think is the condition for Pluto, which is the extra stage. In this stage, you get five million for every S that you earned in the main game, one million for every A, and it looks like an extend for every B, and nothing for anything lower. And it's in a very sepia kind of color scheme here. This is how games were, even though the resolution is far too high for this to be an older game. I went up. You can shoot them in this stage. That's okay. You can. Get your A, one million. Million! We're pretty sure that um, in this stage, only your time matters. Lives don't really... You can run out of lives, but you just won't get your end of stage bonus, which is a few million. lives left. Ouch. That's gonna cost him maybe a few million. And that will end Eric's run. Third place overall for the day. Tata for your wonderful commentary. This is Phil, PDP80, or Wonka. This will be the last run of the uh, of the stream slash evening. It's getting to be dinner time here in Seattle, so thanks to anyone who's tuned in or will watch this in the future. We're going to post this up because um, this is kind of our first. I just got this streaming set up and the capture card installed in this PC, so... This is kind of the first real test run of everything. We'll be doing this more in the future because this is pretty fun. So. Alright, Kevin's going to shoot these things that are falling from the top of the screen. Great efficiency. Yeah. Yeah, we should get another mic or something. Like, whatever. So he's going to shoot all the things. If he's missed anything yet, everything that entered the screen is getting killed by Kevin GDR. No one leaves alive. This is pretty much my first time playing this game today. This is included in Eskatos uh, Xbox 360 release, which is region free and fairly inexpensive, so you should buy it if you haven't if you're at all interested in Trump's. If you're watching this, you probably are. S rank. This is the 1-up extend level. 
can't shoot those one ups. You can't shoot them too much, otherwise they'll explode and it will say no. An exclamation point. I believe there are 15 one-ups possible in this. Yeah. Or you end up with 15 lives, one or the other. We don't we don't know for sure. Okay. So a lot of us are playing this kind of for the first time today. This is it was really, uh, originally a uh, one one game. Uh, also included on this disc is Judgment Silver Sword, which I played more than than Cardinal Sins. Yeah. So this is pretty much my first exposure to this game, despite owning it. But Kevin DDR has been spending some time with it. He knows what's up. He's teaching all of us. Tata, who studied languages in Japan, says that they do. City cabinet that has an Ultra Cade UBC card inside of it that uh, 360 hooked up via VGA is being downscaled to 240p, so it's playable on the cabinet. Then we have the sound coming out of the cabinet, uh, RCA jacks going into a mixer that uh, then goes into the back of the computer. So this microphone's plugged into that mixer. And we also have the webcam taped to the ceiling that's uh, capturing the and, uh, right now I can't capture JAMA games uh, on that though because I have a couple PCBs and stuff and I'll want to be able to do streaming and capture them. Uh,
big mistake there. Big mistake. He's still gonna. Uh, well, uh, I take that back. He might uh, completely fuck this up. Prove me wrong, Kevin. from the previous stages should uh, should enable him to reach the sepia tone uh, fond memory stage. Sabak. <laughs> yeah. They should have like western western music during this. Like, like uh like Ennio Marconi, old, old Western music. Yeah, or like ragtime. <laughs> oh, really? Huh. So Kevin apparently has taken the number one spot away from himself. Because he's in a league of his own. Like those girls in that movie. If there's anything wrong with with girls playing baseball. Can he break 60 million? Is the main question. I believe that he can. Oh, wait, you don't, your lives don't carry over? Okay, he's fucked. Never mind. <laughs> Unless he can do some supreme dodging here. Okay, so that's what's up with that. Pro style. Or full shmup, as we learned on uh, SCG Weekly. Big shout out to those SCG Weekly guys. Oh. All right, well, time to go back to real life. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll be doing more stuff in the future as time and schedule ling permits. Adios. <laughs>